Hey guys, Ooster443 here with the very first part of my new Let's Play of Tales of Monkey Island. Now, just to fill you in on a few things, uh, I will not be continuing uh, Assassin's Creed 2 because, well, uh, every time I post um, a part, I get a copyright claim against it and... I don't want to deal with those anymore, so here's Monkey Island. Enjoy. At last, my victory is at hand. <laughs> Behold, the oh, he does not look healthy. Monkey of Montevideo, whose sacrifice will eternally bind the oceans themselves <laughs> to my infernal will. <laughs> Impressed yet? Half as much as I'll be when Guybrush guts your diseased carcass with his voodoo cutlass, you dodgy Why does he have a fern on I his evil pirate ship? Waiting for any last minute heroics, my dear. The last I saw of your mighty pirate husband, he was being torn apart by a school of my ravenous piranha poodles. Poodles? All right, LeChuck, put down the monkey. Hooray, the hero of our tale. See how I fit that in. Tale. Let me a merry the game's called Tales of Monkey. Yeah, 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 I'll stop talking in front of the will be mine, tech. And the, the uh, will plot. Run nope. with the blood of my enemies. <laughs> I think he's taking a, moat from, uh, uh, a note from Mograine there. Yeah, well, you fight like a. No time to waste, Guybrush. Finish enchanting that sword before LeChuck completes his spell. I'm on it. One LeChuck defeating cursed Cutlass of Kaflu coming up. Now, where did I leave Can those do. handy voodoo instructions? They're pinned to your mast! Oh, yeah. Seriously, you need instructions for that? Oh, well. So, this is Tales of Monkey Island. It's really an amazing <laughs> game. Come to Guybrush, you it is a point-and-click adventure game well, in which um, you are the ingredients, but I finally finished the Guybrush game. Three wood. Now all I need to do is find some Mighty Pirate. Spray on it and let you will hear that toast. so many times throughout this. Toast. By the way, I do not own, um, I do not uh, own the rights to any of this. Um, I do not own the rights to Tales of Monkey Island. I do not own the rights to Monkey Island, and I do not own the rights to that quote, which is actually trademarked, as you will see in several texts. Uh, but. The mysterious I, rock of gelato. Uh, it's hard to believe that LeChuck's latest okay, I, plan literally revolves uh, around such a nondescript scab of dirt. I didn't mean to click that. Alright. So, we are going to want to walk up here. Uh, also, uh, a small uh, note. Legendary Most of this is of going to be a blind let's I'll play. This is my first of, run uh, through the game, but thing. I've seen. Um, is this thing I, I'd call this um, don't hear when you pick up a, a, a bad eyesight let's play because um, I did watch a let's play, another let's play of it. Um, I'm not going to drop any names, but um, <laughs> what you're going to want to do with this is. Um, Click this button, which um, inspects the item. Wonder how you open this thing. Aha! A seltzer bottle full of root beer. I haven't seen one of these since before I had a beard. Bet this stuff will work wonders on my cutlass. See? And um, you're gonna want to inspect that it's as a well. Seltzer bottle full of root beer. It looks kind of flat. Oh no, it's flat, and it needs to be fizzy. So, um, let's let's combine that with something that will. Make it fizz again. Not sure if um, it, this would actually work in real life, uh, because um, I think you need the carbonation to um, make the effect. But it's like um, Diet Coke and Mentos. All right. Oh, this city. We have now got magical fizzy root beer, which we shall combine with our. Awesome looking magical cutlass. Prepare to meet your frosty carbonated maker, LeChuck. Come and get me, you dirt digging doily dipper. Stop showboating and spray the sword, guys. Doily dipper. I'm showboating. I'm <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> showboating in there. Oops. They're on pirate ships. And now no. we're going to die. Alright. Again. <laughs> Wonderful. Okay. 
no problem. I just need to find a fresh supply of impossible to find voodoo root beer. I sure hope there's some on a lane ship, because mine's as dry as a bone. And not one of those wet bones. I'm talking a dry, dry bone. <laughs> Alright. So, we need to find a way uh, onto LeChuck's ship. So let's talk Elaine, to Elaine. Maybe she can get butter? us on. I said, Elaine, my beautiful butter... My beautiful butter? I was gonna say buttercup, but you keep cutting me off. Oh, God, Rush. <laughs> now stop the chuckle. We're all dead. Um, uh, there seems to be a rope next to her. Uh, let's ask Elaine, her to throw it. You've got inordinately strong thighs. See if you can swing me that <laughs> rope. It's not long enough, but I've got a better idea. Damn. Just bumping a rope completely destroys the main mass. Well, one of the mass. Several years at the side of Guybrush Threepwood, mighty pirate, without picking up a few tricks, darling. See, if you, if you looked at it, you, you'd see that. Um, My collection of autographed sextants. <laughs> uh, you'd see that uh, that little quote is trademarked. Ah, Threepwood. So good of you to join us. Saves me the trouble of having to sink your ship. Do I even need to make jokes throughout this? All right. So we need to find a way to get uh, magical root beer. That is fizzy, and all we have is a monkey coffin. Unfortunately, that's probably useless. A cutlass, which is somewhat u useful, and breathmints. Don't know why we would need breathmints, but um, hmm. those roots could really use a trim. <laughs> well, we've got a sharp object. Let's see if we can cut back some of those unruly roots. One of the best there, things I do is play with sharp objects. Alright. Now, Ooh, let's inspect wow. everything else Ooh, on the ship. Um, this seems to be a lone open barrel of grog. It's Elaine's barrel of light grog. It's like real grog, only without the taste, calories, or debilitating blackouts. <laughs> Alright. You're gonna wanna click that. Um, and since it, uh, all you need, oh, grog is basically beer, and um, root beer is uh, in, um, if you're being very, um, I don't know, if you're being very smarmy, it could, if you put a root in normal beer, it could be root beer. I, I'm just going to click it. Let's see if these roots add anything to this horrible knock grog. <laughs> I'm postponing way too much. Ugh. This root grog is bland, joyless, and jejune. It's also flat. Jejune? Well, this worked for the last one. Hopefully it'll work for this one. Now that's some fizzy root grog. I bet it still tastes like monkey snot, though. Probably. Alright. <laughs> and I love okay, that LeChuck's just standing there, too. not paying useful. attention to his arch nemesis with the one thing that can kill him. Booyah! Look out, LeChuck! Here comes Guybrush Threepwood's glowing sword of hot monkey vengeance. Hot monkey vengeance. Oora. Alright. Now, if you, you were LeChuck. actually to what? walk up to LeChuck, you can... Uh, you can actually talk to him. You look like something the cat dragged in and spat up on the floor, LeChuck. Ah, my outer shell is meaningless, you fool. Within my decaying flesh courses more voodoo power than your pitiful mind can possibly imagine. Okay. Apparently he's dangerous. Well, never mind. Um... Let's, let's just try walking hey, up to him. The Chuck. Die. Ow! And I think I landed on one of the monkey's hands. Poor monkey. Alright, let, let, let's move on with the plot. The Chuck. Do you mind? I'd be in the middle of an unholy ceremony here. <laughs> unholy this! Unholy this? Unholy this? Yeah, I know, but he didn't give me much to work with. Hey! Ah, 
You can't defeat me that easily, sheep good. Wait, good. what's happening? Is that how the cutlass is supposed to work? I don't know, it's so bright. So bright. What the heck? Wolf. What I'm, the... I'm human. Yeah. That's yeah. Cool. Guybrush, quick! Finish him off! What? Oh, right! This is for the monkeys, LeChuck! This is for the monkeys? Really? Not... This is for capturing Finish my wife. Him. No, uh, this is for hand. killing all those people. No, this is for the monkeys. Uh -oh. That's all. No one else. It's not like he's killed hey, anyone. Guybrush? It's not like he's caused horrible misfortune to all this all of the societies that it, oh oh dear well <laughs> yes that's the what is it prologue and we're riding in on good music written by Mike Stemmel And directed by Mike Stem. Or Stem. I, I don't know. Um, surprisingly enough, uh, I don't think Tim Schafer was really involved in this game. Don't, my, don't really quote me on this, but um, it, it seems like a type of game that he would have worked on, but he, uh, he didn't. He just didn't. I, I would compare it to some of the great... Um, point-and-click adventure games such as Grim Fandango and, um, is, is, um, I don't know. I, I forgot the name of the other one, but it, it, it's irrelevant. Well, it's slightly relevant to what I was saying, but, yeah. Oh, that's an unhealthy looking hand. Willing. Ahoy there, me hearty. What? Oh, he seems friendly. Don't worry. We'll have you up and sucking back a grog in. <laughs> oh, my dude. My beautiful <laughs> pirate dude. I'll get you. Oh, uh, that, that always gets me. I, it's hilarious. Sorry. I don't know what. It's just out of nowhere. He just punches the guy. Oh, this can't be good. You know, you really should have that look, that kid. I know. Oh, name's Nippercut. Davey Nippercut. It's glowing. Say you're a Keel Hollow Gazette. Green Welcome mist is coming off of it. Mind if I ask you a few questions? Actually, I... Right. What's your name, where'd you come from, and how'd you get here? Well, let's use the trademarked line. I'm Guybrush Threepwood, Mighty Pirate, and... Pirate, eh? I believe it when I see it, kid. Well, <laughs> it'd be nice to have a real genuine pirate buckling his swash around Flotsam Island again. Um... Why, I haven't had an honest-to-goodness pirate story to write about in over six months. You're right. Yes, sir, Bob. <laughs> Nothing like the promise of a good pirate story to get the old journalistic juices flowing again, says I. Hey. <laughs> Say, just listen to me prattling on while you stand there like all wet and confused dead. and whatnot. So, what's your story, Creepwood? But I don't think we are going to cut off our hand with a chainsaw. Or, I don't know, I, I, I saw the movie a long time ago. I recently saw Army of Darkness, and he did it with a chainsaw in the recap. I don't know. But, uh, let's just say that. This island looks uh, lovely, but where can I find a ship? I really need to get back to the Rock of Gelato and find my wife. Well, there's only one ship here on Flotsam Island, but it won't do you any good. Why not? It's the winds, Threep Wand. The winds. Threep Wand? Here on Flotsam Island, the winds are always blowing inward 24 oh, hours a day, 365 right. days a year. It's a freak of nature, a fluke, a curse. Whatever you want to call it, the result is the same. Once you've landed on Flotsam Island, you're trapped. Are you seriously telling me there's no way off this island? Well, not by ship, anyway. The only person who I think might know a way off the island is Deep Gut. Deep Gut? Well, well oh, apparently that's what we're supposed to say. <laughs> uh, deep Gut? Elaine's mother's here? Deep Gut? What's a Deep Gut? 
<laughs> Deep Cut's my secret source for off-island news stories, and it's a good thing, too. Without the Guts' uncanny inter-island scoops, the Keelhaula Gazette would never be able to compete with those snooty prima donnas over at the Flats and Times. Off-island news? Hey, then he might know something about Elaine. Where can I find this Deep Gut? Hold on a second, pirate boy. David J. Nippikin doesn't go handing over his secret sources to every Tom, Dick, and Guy brush that washes ashore. But I can pay you, with treasure, from my ship. Which is probably at the bottom of the ocean by now. Look, kid, you seem like a nice enough pirate, so I'll make you a deal. Cool. <laughs> a deal? Great, I love making deals with complete strangers. A deal? Yeah, our filing news is nice and all. But the fair citizens of Flotsam are getting tired of stories about faraway lands they'll never see again. Not to mention that I hate being beholden to this deep gut person. So? So I need some nice, meaty, local pirate news. Meaty? I love making pirate news. That's the spirit, kid! You can translate that moxie into news-making pirate mayhem, and I'll hand you deep gut on a silver platter! Yeah, this'll be a snap. A snap. A snap. Ow! <laughs> Oh, that was good. Well, welcome to chapter one. Launch of the Screaming Narwhal. So, this, um, I think, is a good place to stop the first episode. So, yeah, I'm Oster443. You can like me on Facebook, follow me on Twitter, and subscribe to me on YouTube. You can also comment on this video. I, I would like to hear feedback about my new Let's Play, uh, if you guys approve. And also, if you guys should think I should change my commentating a little bit. But, anyway, I think this is a good place to stop. I already said that, I know. But, yeah. So, bye.